Right, so that's on field. Let's get to off field, OK? Because this is why Kane Corns may well right? be sitting okay. here. So, uh, obviously, the prison bar jumper. We, we've spoken about it. Collingwood believe Port should not be wearing it. They had their time. They had their time in their 150th year. Port Adelaide believe it's a once-every-year thing that they should be able to wear in show. Twice out. every year now. Twice. OK, yeah, well, here's David Koch. Three times next. They play again... They played the Adelaide Crows in eight or nine days' time in a showdown. It still hasn't been sorted out. But here's David Kosh only recently on Channel 7 giving his thoughts on whether Power should be able to wear their prison bar jumper. Bitterly disappointed that we're still waiting for an answer from the AFL in regard to wearing our heritage prison bar guernsey in the showdown next week. Quite frankly, it is infuriating. And to think we are 10 days away from the showdown and still waiting for a response is frankly disrespectful. We should be able to celebrate our heritage and our contribution to the history of South Australian football by wearing this iconic Guernsey in every showdown. We do have a 2007 heritage agreement, co-signed by the AFL and Collingwood, that reinforces our right to wear our prison bars as a special purpose Guernsey in games of heritage significance. So, as I keep maintaining, this issue will not go away. We will continue to fight for what is right. In the short term, I'm looking forward to a cracking contest against Brisbane on Saturday night and getting a definite yes on wearing the prison bar in time for the showdown. OK, I don't know why the AFL hasn't grown a backbone either and, and no, we're still talking about this, but uh, it's a thing well, I, I think they got told with. no and that's why he's okay. arcing up. To All right, well, here's yeah. the Port Adelaide statement. Mr Kosh maintains the club has not seen any agreement, undertaking or commitment that would preclude Port Adelaide from it wearing... It just said they had one in 2007, it's black it? or white prison bar Guernsey as a special purpose Guernsey in games of heritage. I again ask if such agreement exists, the AFL mm. present them. We've been through all the licence agreements, etc, etc. But again... Kane, oh, okay, let's go. Well, well, for the first time, I can yeah. exclusively reveal the document, and it does exist, and I've got it here, and we may so take there a is look a at it. There is a document. Right, it's so addressed to Mr Eddie Maguire. It's oh. addressed to Mr Greg Bolton, who's the former president of the Port Adelaide Football Club. It is signed by Gillian McLaughlin, who at the time was the chief broadcasting and commercial officer. It's signed by you, Eddie, yep. and it's signed by John James, who was the former CEO of the Port Adelaide Football mm. Club. It says... The Port Adelaide Football Club has the option to wear a black and white striped heritage Guernsey for all AFL heritage round games allocated as Port Adelaide home games. Only the exception is a home game against Collingwood. That was signed in 2007. Now, there isn't heritage games anymore, Eddie, but when you sign this document, which Ross is looking at now, which you would agree has your signature on it... Yeah, no, you agreed I know, I actually co-authored it, yeah. Yeah, well, so you, I know so it well. you, So you agreed yeah. that Port Adelaide could wear their Guernsey In a heritage a round? No, 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 no. In, in, Hold fire. It says one, hang on, now, let me pick, finish and then I'll give you okay. your, your opportunity. It says once a year in heritage rounds. The heritage round doesn't exist anymore. When you signed it, you weren't aware that that was going to be happening. So yes, you, I did. You, how, how did you know that? Because I knew it, because the well, AFL well, had well, told No one else did. No one else knew well, that. That's you, you, that's well, you were the only, you were the no, only club that knew. It's called intelligence. Well, you were the only club. So oh, that, well, that's, that's, another, that's a bigger story. No, no, I'll tell you what's going on. Everyone knew. This is, can I just say this? Let's take the heat out of this, right? I just want to have a, a, a sensible conversation about this. Can I just ask you, though, Hang on, why, you... why were you why comfortable with Port Adelaide wearing it once a year back in 2007? Because... And now, and now you're not. We, no, it's not that. So, this, is, this is where I hate this, because Port Adelaide... There's an old saying, my old mate Lindsay Fox says, to have a friend, you need to be a friend. So to have respect, you have to give respect. They respect And Collingwood. there's been zero respect... I disagree this. with that. Well, I'm not asking for opinion. I'm giving you mine, OK? Port Adelaide, back when you were playing, were running away from the Magpie as quickly as possible, right? So let's not forget, Port Adelaide tried to break away. I won't say rat. I won't say they were Judas's to the South Australian National Football League. Others would. A long time ago. But this is the history of it, right? So they wanted to get away. When they came into the competition, they couldn't get any supporters other than Port Adelaide supporters because no-one else. They wanted to extend their fan base. They realised that teal was their, going to be their colour. Now, roll the videotape from the footy show. Now, I know this because I did deals with Port Adelaide for them to appear on the footy show. Now, this is Brendan Lade. That's Brian Cunningham. Port Adelaide captain, legend yeah. and CEO in 2002. There's your jumper with a big... There's you carrying on like a two-bob watch. And... Also, you had an extended sponsor across the front, uh, Scott's Transport, all that sort of stuff, because you were going headlong down that road. At the same time, Port Adelaide Power 
we're trying to get rid of the Port Adelaide Magpies no and cut. This. Right, there's no denying there's it. No so, no so just stick with me on it. I'm not, I'm not yelling you can, down. Can you ask my question you. first? Why you were comfortable with Port Adelaide wearing because it once a year in 2007, no, no, because and now you're so heritage strongly round. against it? You've no, but it's not. It. It's not a heritage round. But, but it is. It's celebrating mate, South Australian no, football. No, no. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, heritage. Stop talking and let me talk. If you want to have a heritage round against the Adelaide Crows. Wear the jumper you wore in your first game. Wear your premiership jumper. Fans Port don't want Adelaide that. Magpies they, never they played Adelaide. They want to celebrate Adelaide. their heritage no, they don't. and their history. Now, it's important to the fans. Put the, uh, put, the, put the contract back up. Let's go to item number three here, OK? So you say this. This is, this is the thing that uh, annoys me, OK? So it says here, the Port Adelaide, number three, Port Adelaide Football Club confirms it will not develop a retail line of black and white striped heritage jumpers. Now, that underlines the fact that Port Adelaide at that stage didn't want to have any more magpies. We all agreed in football that we were sick of having dress-up rounds of heritage. It was gone. To say that no one else knew is complete lies, OK? Because I was there, I did the deal with Gillan McLaughlin, with Greg Bolton, with the CEO, John James. Everybody signs it up. Now, look at all this. Where are those jumpers? Well, they knit them, did they? No. So has Port Adelaide been producing yes, yes, against they, yes. this? Port Adelaide Football Club confirms it will Ed, not. Ed, Hang on. Develop a, so yeah, they have. You've read that bit. You've read that bit. They so, have. So they have. But it's not a money-making exercise. They oh. sold 5,000 of them last 5, year. 5,000? That's more they than what Richmond so, sold so after the grand 40 final. 40 bucks profit. It's 200 grand. It that, doesn't that, that's matter. The profit. It's about the fans. You, you want your fans Kane. wearing the Guernsey your players are wearing. Ed, you, you've had... Yeah, well, that's the one a, you do. A, a you know what you do? Say. Wear the one you're wearing, So mate. you're not going to wear a heritage no. jumper and not allow your fans to wear it. Of Seriously, Kane, you're, you're putting up the jumper. I just want to know, nonsense. and you haven't answered the question, why are you are comfortable with wearing it? But you can't pick and choose it. your clauses. You say that one's legal and stands up, but we, we can produce a retail well, one. If, How about stop, that bus stand? Stop for a second. When's the next heritage round? Well, there isn't one, Eddie, but... Exactly well, right. But at the time, where at then? But at the time that you signed yes, it, this, was. you didn't know there was no heritage jumper. Yes, I did. I you spoke didn't. to Gil McLaughlin okay, about well, it this you, morning. You may have, so but the other clubs. Gil McLaughlin, you heritage game this weekend. No, it, it is. It's the is equivalent it, of it, 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 it is the equivalent of celebrating yeah, South yeah, Australian football. You're making it up. It's in a game that is in South Australia, not involving Collingwood. Collingwood fans don't care about it. It doesn't implicate. You really reckon? You're speaking on behalf of Collingwood fans, and you were comfortable with them wearing it. Did you take the money? Did you take the money? No, hang on. Did you take the money to go to Teal? I'm not sure. It was, well, it was, yes is the answer. Okay, okay? But, I was and they that don't deal. deny that because yeah. it, was well, then, a it, was a broken, yes. it was a broken club back then. <laughs> they had 30,000 members. What they have done, a magnificent yeah. job, and something I'm really proud of mm. is the way that the club you, has rebuilt the, the, their okay, fans. So just answer a couple of questions. Connected names. the fans back together. Do you together. agree that the black and white stripes, that the AFL commission, in taking over the trademarks of the clubs to form a commission and form the AFL, should be protected? And that Collingwood is the club that has the black and white stripes. Sure and the have, I'm not sure Collingwood have the trademark over the colours black and white. No, the AFL do. Well, the AFL do, and this yeah. is where they've been weak and on the issue. Yeah, exactly. So they need to come out and say no. Now, just with this point, OK? David Koch comes out, so suddenly it's two games a year, is it? Yeah, that's what it's, they've applied for two years ago, and they're still waiting for an answer. No, they got an answer, mate. They got it in 2007. They also got it last year well, when we said... It, they did get it in 2007. We said it's yes signed. last yes. year. Have you noticed the crowds? Whack the crowds back up again. So it's not just the jumper. It's now your away jumper has no teal in it. Your match day jumpers... Your, your match day, let me finish, Kane. Just stop talking. The match day gear that your coaches wear, may as well be Collingwood. You've got magpies on your scarves. You've got black and white stripes... And that's how important it is to the fans. <laughs> I love it. And, mate, and you know yes. how but, important but, okay, fans can I, are. Can I, I know how important it is. Why is there no respect for the Collingwood fans? Yeah, see, I disagree with that. I don't no, think the, the Collingwood yeah. fans... Look, the Collingwood fans, this is a minor issue for them. I don't think they're losing sleep over a game that's not yeah. on national but you know TV. What? Never the twain shell, mate. No, but maybe maybe we're gonna you get... don't talk on behalf of Collingwood yeah, fans. I, 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 no. I, I do. We're not going to agree, Ed. Now, can I just say this? Last point. Let's just go to the federal court and get the I agree. Or the AFL has that backbone that I called for about five minutes ago. Can I just earlier. say one last yeah. thing? The reason why I insisted that Gillan McLaughlin sign this contract yeah. is because he's a South Australian favourite son. Yeah. I didn't want 14 years down the track, because I could read this from 100 miles where this was all going to end up, right? Right where we are now. Yeah. I didn't want them to say, oh, uh, Dimitri was a mate, the Victorians are all ganging up, all the rest of it. The Collingwood black and white stripes is everything to our club. You change your colours and your jumper like I change my jocks, OK? A lot of now, do. I understand... Yeah, well, good. Be another Ed. club. We don't. I understand where David Kosh is coming from and I have sympathy for him. But it's a bit like this bloke here going back to a house he sold 14 years ago. I'd like to have it back. Mate, you sold it. You made profit out of it. You did the deal. You signed the contract. 
I would like to think in football a handshake still works. Certainly a contract does. It's signed. It's done. Okay, sorry, if there's okay. a heritage it... game that comes back, then they can have a look at it a second time. No for the okay. games so that are an actual... So you're not saying it's a never? I've said yes mm. every single time when Port Adelaide have asked to wear the jumper when there was a, a, a half-decent reason. Mm. But to play it twice, you've got to be kidding. I mean, Oof. fair income. Seriously. Yeah. They're costing you. All right, let's take this into an ad break.